Hey Nerdy Knitters, are you looking for a new shawl to knit but you're kind of tired of top-down triangle shawls and asymmetrical triangle shawls looking for something a little bit different? Then you'll want to check out half pie shawls or half circle shawls that are made using a shape of wedges. We're looking at a collection of shawls today that use these two construction methods to create the shawl shape but each of these shawls is absolutely unique and you'll see just how versatile these two shapes can be. Before we look at those, let me just say, hey, I'm Tanya here at Nerdy Knitting. I'm a certified knitting instructor and a knitwear designer. My goal is to help you become a more confident, adventurous knitter. Now let's start by looking at half pie shawls, which are the invention of Elizabeth Zimmerman. She has a whole formula that she used to figure out this shawl construction, and it's really very simple. If you want to learn more about the construction, check out this video. But let's look at some patterns that use this construction right now. First on my list of recommendations is Velvet Rose by Helen Stewart. Now this one uses a sock weight yarn and the body of the shawl is knit in stockinette and it has lace panels that look really intricate but they're actually really easy to work with a pattern that's simple to memorize. And it's finished with a pico bind off and it's suitable probably for adventurous beginners or an intermediate knitter. My next recommendation is Avian Melody by Kirsten Kapur. Now this one is worked in two colors of lace weight yarn. There's a contrast of easy garter stitch sections with more involved sections of lace. And if you like that mix of easy garter stitch and something a little more complicated, then this one's a really good choice and it's really very pretty. Then there's Citrin by Hilary Smith Callis. Now this one uses a single skein of lace weight yarn. The shawl, it has some ruffles and ruching in a basic stockinette body and it's worked in this lovely lemony lime color and the ruching creates these darker bands of color when held up to the light. It's a really very pretty interesting technique. Then we have Radiance by Helen Stewart. Now this one's also worked in a lace weight yarn and it features sections of garter stitch, panels of simple diagonal lace, a generous ruffle and a pico edge. If you're looking for something with a little more going on here, then this one's a really good choice. Then we have the Sick Day Shawl by Kate Atherley. This one's knit in an Aran weight yarn. It's a very easy pattern suitable for adventurous beginners ready to tackle a shawl or for more advanced knitters who are looking for just something simple to knit. There's lots of yarn overs for texture and it's easy to customize the size of the shawl or make adjustments if your stitch count isn't quite right. Then we have Exuberance by Kirsten Kapur. This is another lace weight silk yarn for a really luxurious lace shawl. It features sections of stockinette that alternate with sections of lace and it's finished with a larger lace border. Now you can see all of those use the same half pie shawl construction method where you're working increases and then you've got sections of plain knitting in between and in those sections you can add whatever stitch patterns you want and it's really evident in all of those different shawls how versatile that pattern can be. Now let's take a look at half circle shawls that are made using a wedge shape and I have a video all about that construction method right here. It's knit almost like a top down triangle shawl but instead of knitting those two increases along that center spine you're splitting them up and it creates a half circle shape instead of a triangle. And you can also add more wedges in there as well. You'll still get a half circle, but you'll just have more sections that you can play with in there. My first pattern recommendation for this section is Avebury by Kirsten Kapur. Now this one's knit in a DK weight yarn and it's an interesting mix of wide rib pattern mixed with large eyelet patterns and a delicate pico edging for the bind off. Yarn overs are also used for the construction, so the wedges are very prominent. Then we have Spring Awakes by Francoise Denoy. This one's knit in a fingering weight yarn, and the designer mentions that the pattern could be knit with any weight of yarn. It uses that three wedge shape, and it has an all over lace design in the center wedge, flanked by stockinette wedges, and finished with a garter stitch border. Then there's Quaker Ridge by Susan B. Anderson. This one's knit in a sport weight yarn and the pattern's easily adjustable to be larger or smaller. Worked in stockinette with some garter ridges for texture and finished with stockinette ruffle and a garter stitch border. This would be a great choice for a newer knitter. There's no complicated lace, just stockinette and garter stitch to produce an interesting texture. 
Then we have Winter Wonderland by Kirsten Kapur. This one's knit in two colors of fingering weight yarn, and it uses four wedges that are created with yarn overs to create the shape. The main body of the shawl is worked in stockinette, alternating between the two colors to create narrow stripes. Then it's finished with a pretty lace border in one color and a pico bind off in the contrasting color. Then we have the Morgan Shawl by Jessica Gore. This one's knit in a sport weight yarn. It's really simple, clean, minimalist design. It is a three wedge shape. The center wedge has a lace eyelet mesh and the stockinette panels to either side have eyelets as well before working a small section of garter and finishing with the stockinette and eyelets. Now, if you've knit a half pie shawl or a wedge shaped half circle shawl, I'd love to hear about it. Tell me about the pattern you use down in the comments below. And if you're looking for more pattern recommendations, go down and check out those comments and see what other knitters have to say. And when you're ready to learn more about the different ways you can create half circle shawls, there's actually more than these two ways. You'll want to check out this video right here. 